climate change is here, now, impacting the poorest of the poor in ways that are unimaginable to most. So I'm here in the village of Khadim Hussein in Khyber district in Pakistan, a district that has been really impacted by the floods that happened this summer in 2022, a district that is still impacted a district that doesn't have drinking water, a district without health facilities, a district without schools. This is why climate finance is so critical. That is why the Secretary General and the Prime Minister of Pakistan held and jointly hosted an international conference in Geneva in January of 2023 that mobilized commitments for above $7 billion. Now is the time to show us the money. Now is the time to deliver for Pakistan. Why? Because climate change is here and the world needs to support these communities, communities that have done nothing to cause climate change and yet they are at the very forefront of climate impacts. That's why the imperative of landing the loss and damage fund was so important in COP27. That's why we now need to monetize that fund. But it is also why we need to decarbonize our economies and the G20 countries, when they lean in, Actually, we will stop climate change. So let's make sure we have enough money for mitigation and for adaptation because communities like this do not deserve to live with those climate impacts.